there have been various different approaches to explaining motivation. Based on these, there are different theories of motivation. One of the early theory of them is instinct theory of motivation, which focused on the biologically determined and innate patterns of behavior called instincts that exist in both pupil and animals. The term instinct was first coined by Wilhelm Wundt in 1870 to refer any repeated behavior. Instinct is an innate, typically fixed pattern of behavior in animals in response to certain stimuli. Instinct exists in both pupil and animals. Just as animals are governed by their instinct to perform activities such as migrating, nest building, mating, protecting their territory, and the tendency of a dog to shake his body when it gets wet. Evolutionary theorists propose that human being may also be governed by similar instincts. According to William James and William McDougall, the human instinct to reproduce is responsible for sexual behavior and the human instinct for territorial protection may be related to aggressive behavior. William McDougall believed that instinct must be unlearned uniform in expression, universal in species, and composed of perception, behavior, and emotion. Based on the three elements, he outlined 18 different instincts of humans such as hunger, laughter, sex, curiosity, flight, fugacity, acquisition, etc. As years progressed, psychologists added more and more instinct to the list until there were thousands of proposed instinct. William James is another psychologist to have studied about motivation and he believed that our instinct is to survive. Important instinctive motivation factors in his theory were fear, love, anger, shame, cleanliness, etc. According to instinct theory, motivation to survive is the root of all motivations. One of the major criticism of the theory has been the fact that instincts are not universal. Although they could describe human behavior, they could not explain it. Another problem is that the level of motivation can also be different. For instance, people exhibit different levels of jealousy and aggression. But these approaches did accomplish one important thing by forcing psychologists to realize that some human behavior is controlled by hereditary factors. Research on the genetics of both cognitive and behavioral traits suggests that hereditary factors can account for more than 50% of the variance in some aspect of human cognition, temperament, and personality. And much of this variance is due to the influence of multiple genes or hereditary factors, not just one. Now try this. Describe instinct behavior with suitable example. What is the difference between a behavior and an instinct? Critically evaluate instinct theory of motivation.